Hello Aquarius viewers. So I'm just pulling some quick love messages. I'm still going to be doing my regular beginning of the month zodiac videos on the first too. I just dyed my uh, my hair. That's why my hands are like this. So let's see what's going on. I communicate with you through songs and movies. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. I'm trapped in a stagnant, unhappy situation. I'm drained and distracted. I want to talk to you, but so much time has gone by. I'm not sure how to start up a conversation. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity alone, but I can't. I love you. There's so much I want to say to you. You have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. I want to take things slow and get to know you better. I kind of get the energy more of somebody new or somebody that's trying to get to know you. Not for everyone, though. For some, this is, this is someone from your past. But I do feel a new energy here as well. Could be both, actually. There could be a new person that's been noticing you and wanting to get to know you. And then you also have this person from the past that's been thinking about you. I think this could be a third-party situation for some where this person is, is missing you. This person is, is... They might be in a situation for children or something along those lines. I'm afraid you moved on by now. I'm afraid that you'll never forgive me. I want to fix this, but I'm not sure where to start. It's an interesting energy. I feel like this person was in a position where they couldn't tell you how they felt. I feel like they were either with somebody else or they were, um, look, what other situation could it be? Cause I just see someone like on a computer and it's like, they're wanting to reach out and they're thinking about it and they're looking at your pictures and they're missing you, but they're not reaching out. It just feels like somebody felt like they couldn't be with you for some reason, but they wanted to be with you. Either you had another partner or they had another partner. Or they had obligations, they felt like it wouldn't work. There's just some kind of energy where it's like they, they do want this, but they, they're telling themselves that it's, yeah, I want, I'm being watched. I want to reach out, but there's other people around me. That's why I kind of feel like maybe this is a third-party situation for some. Because this person, it's almost like this person feels trapped. And it's not it's not third-party for everybody. For some, it's just like the, the person feels there, there's incompatibilities or they feel like they might be interrupting your life if they were to come back around. I just get like a sense of like a block. I get this person's kind of a little bit numb, a little bit depressed, and they are missing you. They are thinking about you a lot, but it's like they don't reach out because they feel like it's for the best that they don't reach out. They feel like it's... Um, They feel like it wouldn't work or and they, there's something there's some kind of there's some something in their head that just makes them feel like it, it wouldn't work. It's it's third party isn't always um, a person. I mean, it could be that you guys live in different states or different countries and maybe you have your job where you're at and they have their job and they know that they can't leave that behind. Or maybe they have kids and they don't they don't know if you maybe you don't want kids. Maybe like one of you wants kids, one of you doesn't want kids. There's some kind of big incompatibility here, be it location, be it a third party that they're that they're dating or you're dating. There's some kind of major incompatibility is the general energy that I'm getting. So it's kind of like they're missing you and they're nostalgic, but they're they're stopping themselves from reaching out because there's like, well, there's no way for it to work. They don't see a way for it to work. 
So, I mean, I feel like they would probably want to pursue this if they, if there was a way, but they feel like there's something that you guys can't compromise on is kind of the energy that I feel here. We've got... I'm going to reach out. I'm just searching for the right words to say. Yeah, they might have chosen something else over you too because now they're afraid that you're going to be that you're going to move on and that, you know, maybe you're not even going to forgive them. They're also afraid you're going to end up dating somebody else as well. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. That could also be for some that could be the block where it's like they don't feel like they they feel like they want you, but they don't trust it. They don't trust themselves. They feel like they don't have their life figured out enough to know for sure who they are or what they want. And they're afraid of being wrong. They're afraid of reaching out and they're like, well, what if it's not what I think it's going to be? Or what if it's not, you know, what if we can't make it work? Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. That's for some of you. I'm trying to get my life together so I can come to you with a stable love offer. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. I looked in for love in all the wrong places. Thought about going on a vacation with you. I will always find you. I'll always come back for you. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. I'm aware that you're the one. You're so kind and empathetic. Oh, sorry. I thought I was... You're so kind and empathetic and thoughtful. It's inspiring me to open up to you. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. My life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. Sometimes I cry over you. You're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it, feel easy. it feels easier just to live in this imaginary world I've created in my head. Yeah, this feels like somebody who just feels like there's 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 an age difference. There's something, there's some major difference. Now this is either age, it could be um it could be religious differences. It could be maybe your family doesn't like their like doesn't like you um or or your family doesn't like them or there's just something there's some major incompatibility here and they keep thinking about that and they keep feeling like well we couldn't get past this it wouldn't work but they are they are missing you they just don't know how to make this work so i would say you know if you guys really love each other and if you if you can find a compromise i know sometimes you just can't find a compromise like if it's like you want kids and they don't want kids or vice versa it's like you can't really work through something like that you know that's that's kind of a you know, sometimes you just can't, but, but if it's something that you guys can compromise and work through, even if it takes work, I just, I feel like you guys should communicate that. So anyway, I hope this makes sense. And if you guys want a private reading, just email me. My email is dragonenchanters at awol.com. That's right below in the description box. Thank you for watching.